we're here at Proctor's Goat, Goat Farm, Farm. <laughs> in Winter Haven, Florida. This is a Harvest Host location and we have stumbled upon a gym. They just started um, taking guests last week. Uh, and they are doing a fantastic job already with their setup. If you look around, um, look right behind us. Obviously, here's our rig right behind us. They've got space for four rigs right now. They've got 30 amp hookups. And if you look over here, it looks like there's space for five. Um, but there are water spigots. There are electrical outlets and they, there are 30 amp electrical outlets over here more down, um, here more down here and she has built her own little campground here her name is Lori Proctor um, family run she is a sweet lady very nice lady and we're gonna head over and see the goats right now she's got um, cheeses and milks and soaps and lotions for sale as well all made out of the goat milk they are very, very well taken care of. I'm going to turn this around so you can see behind us here. And we're going to pet the goats. And Trini says, and we're going to pet the goats. But you can see over here, here they are. And I'm going to turn the camera around now. So again, if you are in the Winter Haven area and need a place and you're with Harvest Hosts, contact Lori Proctor. She's got a great place here. Here they are. Look at all of the goats. There they are. She's got so many. I was just expecting when I read that it was goats, I thought it would just be maybe three or four, but she's got so many here and they're all so well taken care of. Look at them. And look at this one with your pet. Okay. And there's Trinity is feeding some of the goats. They're very sweet. Very sweet goats. There you go. Uh oh. See, Demont's got some over there. <laughs> They're all flocking. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. another one. Look at, they're all coming. Look at that. Look how pretty. They're sweet. Yesterday and today are the first warm look. days I've had. I go climb on the tree. Oh, look they're at that. eating out of the tree. She's eating right out of the tree. I'm huh? Lynn Gilman. I'm from California. I'm on a one-year trip around the country. I started last March, and I will be back in California in March. I went up the West Coast and Yellowstone and Glacier and across Montana and across the top. And then um, through Michigan and Ohio and Pennsylvania and New York. And then I spent two months in New England. And now I'm working my way down the East Coast. Went to Assateague in Maryland where the ho wild horses are and stayed there for 10 days on, on that island. And, and working my way down, I'll spend about, a, I'm in, we're in Florida now. I'm so happy to have met you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> and, and I'm in Florida now and I'll spend about six weeks in Florida and then head across the south. And, but my tra my little trailer is a 1964 Eljo. Oh. She was, I've had her since last, last fall. And when I got her, she was a pretty ugly blue. Mm -hmm. My Two of my granddaughters and their husbands got yellow paint and painted her yellow, uh -huh. so she's a bright, happy color. And along the way, I've painted flowers on the side of her, so you might see those uh -huh. flowers. We'll go over there and take a look. Yep. <laughs> but she's only 10 feet. She's pretty much mm -hmm. like a hard side tent. I do have a propane cook stove nice. inside, and um, and it's very simple. I but I do have my my mother's rocking chair in oh, there. I, I sacrificed a nice. second bed or a larger bed. I have a small bed and my mother's rocking chair. So Beautiful. I'm very, very comfortable. Beautiful. I'm just having such a good time and I'm meeting all people like <laughs> you guys and oh my goodness. And look at this. Harvest Host says, oh, you know, that's Amazing. another, another mm -hmm. really wonderful avenue for us as we travel around. And Absolutely. I do a lot of national forest camping out in the middle of the wow. woods and with mm -hmm. a campfire and a running stream that's sort of my 
my base. Okay. But, but ha being able to do things like this and the wineries and yeah. different museums, it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. huh. It's a wonderful resource. All right, well, we're going to go over and see the flowers painted on Hilda. So Hilda is a 10 foot 1964 Eljo. I She was blue and now she's yellow. But when I was in New Hampshire, I had a little bit of time at a campground. So I went and got some paint and painted a white stripe around it. And then I painted a gray stripe around that. And then I painted some shutters and then, and then I painted some flowers. Some flowers. <laughs> and so they're certainly not professional, but they make me happy. It's precious. It's very, very so quaint fun. And, and comfy. Hilda was my, Hilda was my grandmother's sister. She was a very special lady. She was born in 1893, went to business college and, and traveled all over the country and went up to Pikes Peak when she was in her 20s and she was just a, an inspiring woman to me so so she's riding with me all right wonderful so it's, it's it's a good story wonderful wonderful thank you so much for sharing oh thank you this is again a 1964 so it's very vintage and very lovely it's just it's big enough for me to be traveling on this this year-long around the country trip mm -hmm. it's not it's pretty much a hard side tent i don't have any tanks by design i wanted something very simple don't have any waste tanks don't have any i have a porta potty i okay. don't have a full bathroom okay. i have a gym membership so i do showers at the gym mm -hmm. um or wherever i'm staying i have an oven and a and a stove and it looks and like it's original and and I, but I just use jugs of water. I I don't e didn't even connect the water up okay. to the up to the sink. I okay. have a small bed, and I have my mother's rocking chair. Yes, and so I'm very chair. very comfortable. Right now it's kind of a disaster because I've been traveling for mm -hmm. a month nice. or so without stopping to reorganize mm -hmm. everything. But when, it's, when it's all put together, it's 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 pretty good. And it's comfortable. Oh, it's very comfortable. Very comfortable. And it's it 10 me. feet and has everything it's that you need. It's 10 feet long and it has mm -hmm. everything I need. It's everything you tow. need. Wonderful. I tow it with a full-size pickup. And so I don't have any issues towing it. There you go. Had the roof sealed. Haven't had a single... Ha I have been in some torrential downpours. <laughs> And I haven't had a single drop. Wow! Of leaks. Wonderful. So it that's a that's a good thing. Wonderful. That's a good thing. Absolutely wonderful. So well, thank you again well, for sharing. You. It was so nice meeting you, and I can't wait to see you again on the road. I'm anxious to see you. I'm sure we'll meet up. Absolutely. Someone asked me when I was in Maine what, and I had been in about seven months so far. What what's your favorite thing so far? And and I had to think for a second then, but now then and now my answer is always every day is my new favorite thing. It is amazing I love that. how every single day and like you said, it's a blank book and it's just full of experiences that are unexpected and you're so blessed to have them. Yes. And we're just so lucky yeah. in this country to have. <laughs> to be able to do this. Absolutely. It's, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. To have but that every kind day, of freedom. See, I met, now I met you today. Yes. And, <laughs> and you met me today. Yes. <laughs> so here we and are. it was unexpected, right? Yeah. <laughs> Another blessing. And then I told, I, then they said, what would you tell people to see? And I said, well, I would say go to as many national parks and national forests or yeah. national whatever, especially national parks as, mm -hmm. as you can visit mm -hmm. because it's amazing the national parks we have yeah. you know here in this yes. country i try yes. to do as many as i can at least drive through them and right. say i and was say there. you were there they're all different absolutely but every day every day is mm -hmm. a new experience it's just wonderful wonderful hold it up to him sweetie let him eat it there you go uh -oh. Oh, he's been so patient. Yeah. Well, we have one 
Alpine, American Alpine, and then the rest are all Nubians. They're all registered Nubians, and Pecan has a little bit of overhostly. Pecan. Yeah, Pecan cute. has a little bit of overhostly in her, but okay. mostly the, nor the, the majority here are Nubians. Are Nubians, okay. But there are 210 breeds of goats. Wow. Over 210 breeds of goats. And this is Lori Proctor, and she is the proprietor of this absolutely fantastic Proctor, place. Proctor's Goat Farm. Proctor's and, Goat Farm. Goat Life Products. Yeah. Yes. She, we're going to stop in now. We're going to get some um, soaps and we're going to get some lotions. And she's got cheeses available and she has goat milk. So you got to stop by. I've already said it. If you're here, we're members of Harvest Host. But if you're in the area, please come by. The goats, you can just look at them and see. They are just... I think I, w I would say that they're a little bit spoiled too. So they're better than well taken care of. So I think we've got some divas and some devos over here. They're definitely taken care of. You saw they're well exercised and everything else. She's got everything set up so comfortably, absolutely yes. hospitable. We met a wonderful woman, Lynn. You saw her video already. We're going to put all of this together. Please come by Proctor's Goat Farm and Winter Haven, Florida. In Winter Haven, Florida. <laughs> Oh, gone. Good day. Oh, hello. Hi, big guy. Hi, big guy. How are you? I'm not. Okay. It was seven ninety five. Uh huh. But those look good. Well, probably gets the same size. I think all coats are about the same. Wow. That's what you're waiting for, huh? Look at them. And this is an education that you just can't get anywhere. <laughs> Trinity's getting to know the goats over here. <laughs> I just cannot say enough about Proctors. I really can't. And I can't say enough about Lynn. So please come in and get some of her products. This is, I mean, you can just tell that this is not easy work, but you can see the love that she puts into it. So please come and patronize Lynn over here at Proctor Farm. She's just doing a wonderful, wonderful job with them. And <laughs> Trinity is getting used to them now. <laughs> They're as tall as she is. Just the goats. Good morning, good morning. It is bright and early, and we're out to help Lori milk the goats. So, Trini and Demont already came out because I was still opening up the RV in that, and so they've been out for about five minutes, and I'm trailing behind. And they're just getting ready to start milking, so we're right on time. These goats are feeding already. Good morning. And they're feeding, and now they're going to start milking. Yeah. 
milk coming through here. Milk coming down there. Milk coming through there. Nice. Milk going in the machine. Okay. Um, I don't know if she'll let you leave her out. If not, I'll give you some cookies or plantain chips. <laughs> and, um, she doesn't like it. She won't let me leave her anywhere. She'll lock up. Mm -hmm. You gotta put the milk down. There you there go. You go. Wow, okay. Me not so much. Okay, you still okay. His mom has goats in Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she's been around goats. Okay. All right. All right. So here we go. Okay. Here we go. Uh, today's uh, wow. collection. And then we run it through a, just a filter. Okay. Wow. Bye, so Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll see you Friday, if not before. Right. I will. Then that filter just collects anything that's, that might, um, you know, any hair, dirt. Okay. And this gets loud. This is uh, bleach water. Then we do soapy water, but it's a food grade soap. Okay. And then back to a bleach water. Okay. So it cleans the lines, cleans the tank. Okay. And here we go. Now we're in the retail side. I bought the artwork. Oh, how the wonderful. Lavender, the lavender artwork, I bought it. And, store. and I just don't know. <laughs> I was gonna originally put this, but this was over a year ago. I was gonna put it outside on the peak. Okay. And, um, and I never heard from the, the uh, sign oh. company, so I ended up um, ordering a different sign, okay. a three by five, and then she delivers this Friday. That I is said, beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Just, but, that, but the new farm sign is a, a three by five, and then, okay. it, has, and then it lists like some of the products. Products, sold, yeah. And I wanna set it like on two, um, two posts. Sure. 
catty corner outside. Okay. So I'm not. I don't think I want to bolt anything to the top of the to the top of the store. Right. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So this is kind of storage just yet. I'm not sure exactly where it's going. This room, this particular room, but it does have a you know restroom. And, okay. So I'm not sure what I'm what I'm doing. I have a washer and dryer back here. And, okay. <laughs> so this is this, wonderful. Yes, but this is um the area that and back in the, the uh, far left there is where I do the packaging. Okay. Of the the product. The product. Like okay. And so a lot of the the cheeses. I just I just whipped up the cheese this morning already. Wow. And this is the this is the keeper. And it okay. Has, and it has grains inside, and then you just grow these grains, and then that keeps making more. Mm -hmm. So you just take those grains out and then add more milk to it. And okay. Then, then you would end up with um, just a lot of a lot of butter, kind of buttermilk. Okay. But so we're here now getting family manicures and pedicures for Dumont and Trinity and myself. Trinity there just behind us. She's done with her pedicure, so she's getting her manicure now. <laughs> Trinity's all done. She's got sparkly nails and toes, and her little toes match her nails. 